And now, Cap gave you first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Kristen Walls. 643 on this Veterans Day. Take a look at the beautiful sunrise that we have. Uh, this is in downtown Yakima this morning. Just a few high clouds as the sun is coming up, providing some gorgeous colors. Get that camera out, snap a picture, send that over to us. Love to share them, show them here on Good Morning Northwest. But this is in downtown Yakima. Notice visibility is not too bad. We are dealing, though, with some patchy freezing fog in some locations. So just a heads up, if you're heading to work uh, early this morning, especially around the Tri-Cities and the Hermiston, between one to two miles, down to less than one mile in the Prosser area, and Walla Walla down into Pendleton, Dayton, also looking at those visibilities less than one mile at times. And some of this could be some freezing fog as well. For the majority of the area, numbers are above freezing, but back over into Toppenish and Yakima, you're just below that freezing mark. 34 in the Tri-Cities, and then mid 30s uh, for Walla Walla. So we do have our wind speeds very, very light for today. No changes there between five to as much as seven miles per hour. And then air stagnation advisory. This continues for today as well. Still dealing with some poor air quality across the area. This will go until noon tomorrow, tracking some rain chances, which might help out uh, some of the poor air quality that we have around the area. But here's where we're sitting at right now with that air quality. There was actually a lot of wet weather over the weekend on Saturday, further up to our north around Ellensburg, Moses Lake, and Connell, and that's why uh, they're looking at the, the air quality much better compared to what we had last week. But we still have some poor air quality around Yakima, Toppenish, and the Tri Cities, even a pocket of some unhealthy air around the Pendleton area this morning. So, once again, breathing problems or respiratory issues, just try to limit your time outdoors. So, we have a few high clouds here or there for today. We will have some sunshine back, but it's the system that is just off the coast that'll bring us our next chance for uh, some wet weather to the area. So, Seattle this morning dealing with some wet weather on that location. But for today, for Veterans Day, we should have a mixture of some sunshine and clouds out there once the fog burns off in some locations. A chilly day, though, upper 40s to near 50 degrees. We'll have a dry start out there Tuesday morning, but notice some of the wet weather starting to slide into the area right around lunchtime. There's a look at noon on Tuesday. It will not last too long. We're not looking at a washout on Tuesday, but just a few rain showers moving through with this frontal system. Back to some sunshine by your Tuesday afternoon, and even more sun is in the forecast uh, for your Wednesday. But hopefully that system will help to improve some of the poor air quality uh, that we've had around the area. So here's today's forecast and what we're expecting. Up to 50 degrees in Ellensburg with 50 in Yakima. We're going to be up to 48 in the Tri-Cities with 49 degrees in Hermiston and those upper 40s as well for Walla Walla into Pendleton. Overnight tonight, we will have a partly cloudy sky, a little bit of some patchy freezing fog developing once again. Numbers falling into the upper 20s and low 30s. Here's your 70 forecast in the Tri-Cities with the rain chance on Tuesday. Back to some drier conditions Wednesday and Thursday. We will be dodging a few more rain chances for your upcoming week, and although temperatures will be going up 53 on Saturday with a high of 58 degrees on Sunday, and then that seven day forecast as well for Yakima with that rain chance on Tuesday, back to some drier conditions through Thursday, and then a few rain showers expected for that upcoming weekend.